So this is uh, a first play video. Uh, this is the first time I've ever played Golden Axe for the Sega Genesis. And, um, you know, I'm going to basically alternate between uh, these first play videos. I'm going to do half with commentary and half without commentary. So I know some people might be curious to my thoughts on some of these games. And uh, that's why I will share them through, um, you know, basically... Uh, commentary tracks as I'm playing the game for the first time and some people probably don't want to hear me talk so that's why half of these videos will just be the natural sound coming from the video game so this is uh, the first uh, commentary track I've done for one of these games and um, I never really played Golden Axe growing up I was a Sega Genesis owner uh, basically as a kid and uh, I uh, I'd never played Golden Axe because it just didn't interest me, I guess. Um, I loved the game mechanics, and now that I'm uh, playing it for the first time, it seems like it's on running on the same game engine as Streets of Rage, so this is almost like a, a medieval version of Streets of Rage, so it's kind of interesting, and it seems like the control scheme are, are identical to uh, the first Streets of Rage game. You know, uh, the A button basically is used for special attack. And in this case, uh, because of the, the theme of the game, you're using it for your magic potions that clear the board. You know, uh, the special attack in Streets of Rage in the first game, it was a, a guy in a cop car basically firing a bazooka, raining down on uh, the opponents. And in this one, your magic spell kind of rains down on the opponents. Um, so it's kind of kind of the same uh, feel. And then you've got your jump button and your attack button and it, it is um the first streets of rage game was only a three button uh control scheme you know the later ones i believe used the six button gamepad but uh this does have that same feel as um streets of rage the only thing that i've noticed so far playing this one is this game has m multi levels um where you can jump up you can see this um I don't know what that is. I guess it's a rock formation where you can jump up onto the higher level and, and fight your opponents versus um, uh, Streets of Rage. I don't really remember any uh, levels in that particular game. I think it was everything is just basically flat. I mean, there is an elevator at the end. Uh, I think it was stage seven. Might be. Yeah, I think it was, it was stage seven. But um, this game... And, you know, you already see multi-levels in Stage 1 here. And uh, now I'm fighting two giant guys with hammers. And uh, So far, the this game seems pretty straightforward. I mean, it seems very approachable. Um, the thing that I love about Streets of Rage and now Golden Axe, since these games feel a lot alike in the, the gameplay, um, they're very approachable. Uh, you know, I'm... I would consider myself a casual gamer, even though I've been playing games all my life. Um, there was a spell where I kind of, uh, I guess, got burned out of video games and didn't play them for about five years. But for the most part, I, uh, I've been in playing video games since 1982. And um, I do have a lot of experience playing them. Um, I grew up with Atari and Commodore starting out, and then I kind of upgraded to Sega... Around 1990, that's when I bought my Sega Master System, and then um, the Genesis. So I, I, I'm most familiar with the Sega games. You'll notice that most of my early videos are either Atari or Sega, because that's the those are the platforms that I have the most experience for. I do have some Nintendo stuff coming up, and um, I'm also going to finally um, cover some Turbo Graphics games. Hopefully, my next. Um, one of my next first plays will be on the Turbo Graphics because I'm looking forward to discovering some new titles on that one. But um, so far, so good. I mean, this Golden Axe game is is a lot of fun. I know I seem to be spamming the the jump attack, but um, I learned from Streets of Rage that sometimes when you're cornered by like five or six enemies, you can't stay in one place, um, and the jump attack is a great way to uh, a hit them as well as get away from their counterattack. So I do, I guess, spam the, the jump attack a lot more than I probably should, but uh, what, what are you going to do? Um, um, 
Like I, I would consider my my game playing skills to be like novice level, if not intermediate. But I'm no by no means an expert. You know, I can't um, speed run a game. I just I just don't have the skill set to do that. Uh, that's not how I play. I play. Yeah, it's it's mostly for fun. You know, just to to, to spend some of my free time. But um, what's neat about this game over Streets of Rage 2 is. Uh, they don't have like the animals or the vehicles. You know, I, I guess I guess it's an animal. Um, but yeah, like right now I'm I'm uh, riding a giant dinosaur. It looks like maybe it looks kind of like a Velociraptor to me. Uh, a little tiny T-Rex. I don't know what he's supposed to be, but uh, I guess because this is uh, middle Middle Earth, Middle Ages, whatever it is, I guess that's supposed to be a dragon. But um, most dragons I know have wings, so I, I I think this guy looks more like a dinosaur to me. But um, this is a pretty pretty fun game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I if I were reviewing this, I would probably give this a very positive review, just because of the the gameplay is a lot of fun and um, you know anything that uh, is similar to Streets of Rage is probably gonna be a win. I've been told that um, Alien Storm plays a lot like this too, so I will probably do a first play of Alien Storm coming up as well. Um, I do love the platformers like this. You probably noticed that, um, you know, I've already done reviews on like Double Dragon, Streets of Rage, and those type of things. So I these are this is one of my favorite genres. You know, the the platform brawler kind of games and. Um, I'm looking forward to, to trying out all the Golden Axes. I think they made a second and third one, so... I'll have to check those out for the Genesis as well. Um, I had some people recommending that I do the uh, Sega CD version of this, um, because they had better music, apparently, but... Um, for a commentary track, what does it really matter? I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to mute the music or have it so low that you're not even going to notice it, but... Um, uh, this is pretty cool, and and you know, apparently the the little little guys with the bags, if they're wearing green, I, it looks like that is a health power up, and the guys um, that are wearing the blue, that's the uh, the magic spell power up. So it looks like I'm progressing pretty well um, for a beginner. I mean, it looks like I've already finished stage two, and um, I'm moving into stage three now. And, I mean, I, that is the biggest difference that I can see between Streets of Rage and Golden Axes. These uh, st staggered levels. I mean, um, it is kind of interesting to me that Streets of Rage is such a flat game now by comparison. I, I never really... I think that was, I guess, kind of almost a missed opportunity. I always thought the Streets of Rage games were kind of perfect. And I do remember the, the levels and a lot of elevators and stuff in the later versions of Streets of Rage. I only played the first one like a couple weeks ago. Uh, I, I grew up with Streets of Rage 2 and um, played that one to death. Uh, that was um, that was the, the game that um, my friend basically bought and he's like, you gotta play this thing, this thing is amazing. And sure enough, uh, I think Streets of Rage 2 is probably the ultimate um, co-op brawler for uh, any 16-bit platform. I don't think there's any game better. You know, I, I, I also played a lot of Final Fight back in the day and, like, Rival Turf on the, the Super Nintendo and um, all the other ones, but I, I still think uh, Streets of Rage 2 is probably the best of that breed and just the best platform brawler that uh, is out there. I just don't know of any others. Although, you know, I'm, I gotta be honest with you, um, this Golden Axe game is... is is uh, a lot, a lot of fun. I, I didn't expect that I would enjoy it as much as I have right now because I'm not really into this whole um, mythology stuff with the uh, Middle Earth or whatever it is. I did watch Game of Thrones a little bit, but um, you know, I lost interest in that show probably about halfway through. I guess I, I, I don't know. I, uh, I definitely hated the last season. I did see the last season and did not like it at all. So. This type of um, mythology was always kind of a turn off as a kid, and I've kind of warmed up to it over time. You know, 
the axe battling and the, the, the middle age stuff is it's just kind of the stuff I skipped and this was kind of uh, golden axe you know I, I kind of mistook um, for an RPG back in the day I, I just saw so many of the other um, games of this the genre like golden axe you know i i guess i was confused by golden axe battler i think it was i think it was golden axe or no golden axe warrior that's the one that i used to confuse with this one golden axe warrior because that was a remember i came from the sega master system so i just assumed the golden axe series was like golden axe warrior for the sega master system and, and that is basically um a legend of zelda clone Golden Axe Warrior was just basically Sega's answer to The Legend of Zelda. And, and, you know, I know Legend of Zelda has its fans. I just It just wasn't my genre. I don't like games where you kind of have to um, search and mazes and all that other stuff. I just, I just want to, you know, hack and slash. And I don't want to put a lot of thought into um, my gaming. I'm, I'm, I'm basically your typical casual gamer where I just want to jump in and play for, you know, 25 minutes like this one um half hour 45 minutes and by about 45 minutes i usually lose interest in a game unless it's a really good game and uh you know i'm like level 100 i think on fours of motorsports six or seven something like that um and you know I, I played the hell out of that one put a lot of hours into it but i only did it you know maybe 20 minutes at a time so I, I just, you know, I'm not one who plays, like, games all night. I just, it's not my thing. I do do love playing video games, but um, just in short spells. I don't know. It's just, that's just what it is. I, maybe when I was younger, I used to do the all-nighters. But, um, you know, I'm not 12 years old anymore. I just, it's not my thing anymore. I don't like to, to, to go the full tilt on video games like I used to. And back here we are, picking up more health power-ups and magic power-ups. Um, that's the end of stage three already. I'm, I'm making some pretty good progress. Um, this is a pretty approachable game. This game feels shorter to me than Streets of Rage. I don't think the levels are nearly as long because my first play for Streets of Rage was like an hour. And I think I'm already at the halfway point on this game and I'm only about 13 minutes into it, so... Um, this is clearly shorter than Streets of Rage, at least the first one, the one that I did uh, the first play on. So, it seemed to be progressing well. I'm, I'm making the assumption that there's six or seven levels on this game. So, um, that would be similar to Streets of Rage. I think there was eight levels on Streets of Rage. I do like this this staggered level design. I actually, you know, I love the fact that, you know, this is another one of those two-player simultaneous co-op games, and I kind of feel like half of the the experience is playing with some couch co-op, and but unfortunately, you know, um, I don't have anybody here that um, can team up with on this Golden Axe game right at the moment. Hopefully, in some of my future episodes, I'll be able to get some guest commentary and, um, you know, some of these two-player games will actually get two players going at it at once. Um, I do like the staggered levels. If, if you know, I, I actually kind of give this game a slight edge over Streets of Rage for level design. I just think it's really clever how they've got these little steps and rock formations and everything. It's, it's kind of, it makes the game more interesting. I guess that's from the arcade. Because I know, I mean, I know Golden Axe was in the arcade. Streets of Rage, I believe, was an original title just for the Sega Genesis. But um, this one, I know I played this in the arcade when I was a kid. So I guess first play is, is being a little disingenuous. Because I, I remember vaguely playing this when it first came out in the arcades. But uh, this is certainly the first time I've ever played this game on the Genesis. I been told that this game came out on the Turbo Graphics and was absolutely horrible. So, um, the Genesis version is is from what I've remember 
from conversations over the years, everyone told me this this is the the version of, of, of Golden Axe to play. And here we're battling some creepy soldiers. Looks like they're supposed to be stone, I guess. Stone or dead or both, I don't know. You know, this game, the graphics are kind of so-so. I mean, it looks about average, I guess, for, for a Genesis port. I, I'm shocked that this game seems to lack parallel scrolling. Um, you know, the, the backgrounds are very static on this game. I guess maybe the arcade version is like that too. I mean, I will give the edge to Streets of Rage 1 for presentation because that one had, like, uh, water effects and everything in the background. Like, I think it was stage 6 where you're on the bridge. Um, and the, the backgrounds to this game seem to be a little more plain and, and dull. Like, we got, like, an orange sh sky on this... Um, level with a, a pathetic looking cloud so I mean nothing to call home about on the backgrounds I mean the rocks look decent but you can tell they're all repeating too so they they did some really simple textures on this one so um, a lot of repetition to the scenery and um, yeah I I strategically was using my magic there because uh, I was afraid I was about to die and now I get the power up again. All right, well, that looks like this is the end of stage four already, so um, I am progressing pretty quickly on this one. This is this game seems a little on the short side. But, I mean, it's an arcade port. What do you expect? And most of the games that are based on arcade games usually run pretty short. So now the Fiend's Path. And we are taken across the skies to the castle... Now the final battle begins. Okay, so we're, we're already up to, towards the final battle. So yeah, this game seems a little on the short side. So stage five. What is that, an eye? I'm battling skeletons right now. This is pretty unusual. Just got my butt kicked by the skeletons. I wonder, you know... Uh, one of the things I skimmed across is there's three characters to select from. I always pick this little runt, this little short guy with the axe. I know Axe Battler, I think is his name, the the main, the big character. The guy looks like Conan the Barbarian from you know Arnold Schwarzenegger eras, and um, I don't know this this I always found that this little guy packs the best wallop you know he seems to be the I guess the strongest and most resilient to getting attacked axe battler I guess is the the um, the better he might be the better fighter I, I think axe battler might be the better fighter um, there's also a, a girl in this video game um, I never play with her so I don't know what her abilities are I stick to this little guy. Um, I know he's got the worst magic. Each each of the characters have uh, different magic spells that they can attack with, and I know this guy has the worst of the magic. He only can power up to like three boxes, and I know Axe Battler I think can go up to five, so he's got more powerful magic. But um, I think this guy is the best of the fighting the fighters and more most resilient to attack so I always pick him um, at least back in the day when I was playing on the arcade I don't know see that's the thing is too is I, I'm making assumptions from my experience playing the arcade game in the 80s so I don't know if that stuff is true of the Genesis version and I don't know if it's true in general I mean I I made a lot of assumptions when I was 10 years old so I don't know if, um, you know, I don't know if that stuff's accurate, you know. This is subjective commentary. That's one of the things I probably should have started with at the beginning. I'm just guessing for a lot of these things. I'm jumping to certain conclusions, 
And if there's tech technical inaccuracies, you know, don't shoot the messenger. These are just things that I've come to learn or expect over time. So I know these. Um, I know this this game seems to just kind of uh, palette swap most of the characters. I mean, I already fought these uh, knights. I think in the first level, and here they are, just painted red this time. So, uh, I actually think the palette swapping is more obvious in this game than Streets of Rage. I mean, we had a lot of repetitive villains in Streets of Rage, but this one seems to be a little more extreme. But I think this is probably on a smaller cartridge size. They probably really stretched out the assets, and 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 we're trying to do this as a as a small cartridge. So there is seems to be more repetition on Golden Axe. So this is stage six, and um, this might be the end of the game already. I mean, this is looking kind of like a, an end stage with the the big doors at the end. I mean, the main villain probably coming out of those big doors. So I might be at the end of the game already. Huh. I hate these guys with the hammers. They're so, so annoying. And you know, I'm doing that cheap stuff with the, the jump jump attack again. But you know, it's what worked for me. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm powered up for magic. You'll notice that I'll strategically use magic. What I am trying to do is trying to get it to get as much damage on each life. Uh, and you know, I'm down to two bars already. Well, now one bar. And um, I'm going to probably let loose the magic to try to well yeah I, never mind I'm just gonna keep going because I was thinking about using the magic but I, I didn't realize the magic carries over to continues so I still got my powered up three three bar magic so didn't really need it this guy's pissing me off though. oh my god this, this guy with the hammer today Oh, look at that. I think that's the final villain. So let's let's rip him up with the magic. That should, should depower him pretty good. Huh. Well, making decent progress with him. Oh, he's got special attack. He can throw stuff in the across the ground. May maybe. Got me again. You know, it's so cheap. That's the one thing I don't like about these platformers. They always throw these cheap henchmen at you. I just wish, you know, it was more like Street Fighter 2 where it's one on one combat. You didn't have to worry about these little stupid henchmen, you know. But, um, what can you do? They gotta get the cheap, cheap shots in. I think I got them. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It looks like I actually know what I'm doing right here. Yeah, I'm kind of cheating. He kind of caught in the corner. I got him. He's not going anywhere. Yep. You're toast. You're toast, buddy. I think I beat it. Did I? Oh, yeah. That's a good sign. You're coming down from the ceiling. Well, that's... I guess that's the end of Golden Axe. Huh. Look at that. I accept my utmost gratitude. There you go. Well, that looks like I wrapped up Golden Axe. I thank you for your courage, for you have rid us of the hideous death adder. Cool. Hey, you're welcome. But I have a feeling that he might have been taking orders. Oh, come on. I don't have the life to deal with this crap. Ah, oh, sometimes it did disappear into that door. Great. Great. You Sega, you bait and switch bastards. I hate when they do this. You know, I, I, just, I just wanted to beat the game. I don't think I'm going to beat the game now because I, I, I'm almost wiped out. Oh, man. Yeah. You could say no. <sighs> yeah, well, there we go. So it looks like there's more to the game. And uh, I don't have enough life left for another stage. So it looks like I'm going to die right about now. Well, stage seven. I didn't realize there were seven stages to this game, and 
I think I'm toast. You know, I got two lives left. I, that ain't gonna do it. And that two, that those two lives are, are creeping down pretty quick. Yeah. Well, well, it's my first play. I can go back and revisit this game and actually try to beat it. But um, it doesn't look like I'm gonna do it this this session. What an idiot! He just. Yeah, that, that looks like a pretty big gap, too. I don't even know if I can clear that. Alright, let's do a run. Nope. Died. And I think this is the end of my game. I'm never going to clear that shit. Oh, I got it. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was cheap. That was cheap. Well, that's it for Golden Axe. Um, so, that was my first play, and... Eh, I guess I I did pretty well. I mean, I almost got to the 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 end of the game. I I'm assuming there's only seven levels, but I could be wrong. But uh, thanks for joining me for this first play, and hope to see you again on a future one.